What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mouth, coming at y'all today with how to make a heart out of CDs. Now, my daughter wanted me to make a heart-shaped um, thing with pictures, using pictures. Excuse me, y'all. Using pictures, but I didn't want her to mess up all her pictures. It been down here on the floor since yesterday, so it got a little dust on it. Y'all have to excuse that. But, um, I didn't want her to mess up all her pictures, so what I told her to do is get some of her old CDs that was scratched up and I would spray paint them and we would go from there. So, let me get this camera adjusted. Y'all know I got a new camera, so, uh, aggravating. So, um, what you need to do first is set it up in the shape that you desire. Now, what I did with the CD, some of the CDs, is I got spray paint, this spray paint right here, and it's called aluminum i don't know if y'all can see that whatever it's called aluminum spray paint and it's metallic and um i sprayed some of the cds the ones that look like this are the ones that are spray painted and the ones that look like this are just regular you know cds without the spray paint see the ones that got spray paint look like this this spray painted this not so and you just I spread them on the floor and arrange them in the shape of a heart. And what I'm going to do now is super glue them together. And they will stay in that shape. So all you need, I said super glue. I meant hot glue gun. So all I need to do now is get the hot glue. And I thought I turned it on, but apparently, oh, yes, I did. Oh, shit. Use a towel when you use a hot glue gun. I don't know why I just did this on the floor. And to hang this, I know y'all, I'll show y'all that at the end. But for right now, I'm going to use, let me put this in the box. Get the glue gun. Get untangled from the dang on glue gun. And just glue the CDs together. Probably want to lift those two up. Now I will let y'all know how this turn out. Because I will not sit here and glue all of this together on video. And I will be back to show y'all the finished results. Okay? Hey y'all, I'm back with the part. And I'm finished with it. Um, now all I got to do now is make the... Um, the part that's going to make it hang up on the wall. And what I'm going to be using is floral pins. They call it floral pins. And you can buy them from Walmart in the flowers section. In the flower department. And they look like, just like, similar to a bobby pin. But, um, like a square shape. So what I'm going to be doing is taking another... DVD and putting it, let's see which one I want. Putting it here, seeing where I wanted it at first. Because I'm going to need it at the top. Actually, yeah, that's where I'm going to have to put it. <laughs> yeah. And so, what I'm going to have to do is glue this down heavily. Tell me I ain't got no more glue sticks. My hand's so ashy because I just got through cleaning this thing with Windex and just had to wash my hands. But anyway, put a lot of glue on this. Oh, and then put the pin on top of it. Then put more glue on top of the pen. You can do how you do whatever you want to do. But this is how I'm doing it. Because I want it to hold. I'm using this box to keep my glue gun in and keep it from dripping all over the floor. I'm going to put some glue down here too on top of this one. 
and then just lay the CD right on top of the other one. Press it down as much as you can. Don't worry about the glue that's seeping out at the top. I'll get that later. It can easily come off. This glue is hot, so warning. To all the dummies who don't know that hot glue guns put out hot glue like me. Because I done touched it too many times. So. And you want to put this straight, as straight as you can. See, I'm a dummy. Just let it sit there. Or if y'all don't want to use hot glue, you can also use um, E6000. That's a really good glue. I'm sorry to be so far away, y'all, but um, I'm about to glue it to the floor. I don't know how to focus on my camera yet. I just got it. So bear with me. Didn't I just say that? But anyway, it looks like like you can hang it from the wall at the top. Put a screw up. Hang this over the screw. And you can pretty much hang it from the wall. Put some more glue under here. tape measure or none of this. All of this I eyeballed. If you need to use a tape measure or a ruler, feel free. Go ahead. I ain't mad at you. But that's too much work for me. This is already enough work in itself. So, And that's it. And I don't want to lift it up just yet. Because well, that one dry. Yeah, it's in there pretty good. But, okay, I'll lift it up now. Let me turn it around. And show y'all how it look. Y'all keep in mind that these are old movies. So you're going to see scratches on. Like them. Um, that's what they was. Old scratched up DVDs. But I just took a little rag. And oh god I feel like I got spider webs on me. This glue. You got to get as all the glue um off. And you're going to see some scratches on the CDs. But I mean they use DVDs. That's why CDs or whatever it is. That's, and we just recycle them to make her heart on the wall like she wanted. And there you have it. And guess what, y'all? It's reversible. That dog, I guess I got a hold of I got the, um, let me just flip it over while it's on the ground. I'm going to flip it over and show you what the other side looks like. It's reversible. It can be used both ways. These clips go both ways. These are all the old DVDs. All the um, CDs that they probably burnt some music off. Oh, maybe let me not say that. But anyway, they old. Ain't no good no more. And that's a heart. Gonna hang it on the wall. Not gonna be using this side right now because it don't go with her theme. Her theme is just silver and burgundy. And this is it. I hope y'all like it. Bye. Bye.